guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lance Slade. I'm going to quote from Proverbs 1 all the way to chapter 6, which is 85 verses. Okay, so I'm going to start right now. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. If so, teach the temple to gain my knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise men are dark things. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, Hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. Chapter 2 My son, if thou wilt receive my words, and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding. And yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and the step of wish for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom out of his mouth and knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of the saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom enters into thine heart and knowledge is present as thy soul, Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who will lead the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who will rejoice to do evil and light in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, for, which forsaketh the God of her youth and forget the covenant of her God. For her house inclines unto death, and the path unto the dead. None that go into her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life. That thou mayest walk in the way of good men, and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Chapter 3 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. So length the days and long life and feast shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy neighbor and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and let the first fruits of the land increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy purses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father and a son, in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that gets understanding. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he doth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. And be thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Get chapter, uh, chapter 4. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Nor the declines in the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor, and thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, and the crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I've taught thee in a way of wisdom, I've led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. 
take last hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause them to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the justice has the shining light that turneth more and more into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Let, thy, let, let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Honor the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Chapter 5 My son, attend unto my wisdom. And bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard us with him, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own iniquity shall take the wicked in himself, and he shall be holy with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. Chapter 6 Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou rise out of thy sleep? Get a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. These these six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay, bye!